We like to separate the seasons out so you have that July-August climbing season and that's the heart of thunderstorm season in Colorado. However, if you were to climb in May, June, September, or October, you're going to see far fewer storms around here because that heating, that afternoon heating by the sun starts to go away. In the shoulder seasons like May and June, the angle of the sun is lower and so you're getting less heating in the mountains. I know a lot of people don't climb in September, but September offers some of the most stable weather that we see in Colorado year round. There's almost always a calm after the storm and when the monsoon finally retreats, when the, when the moisture finally gets cut off, that leaves Colorado with really dry air in place. And so it's some of that dry air, it's those cooler nights that start to settle things down. The sun angle starts to drop as the seasons change. And September and sometimes even the first half of October can be really spectacular around here with very few storms. So once you start to hit the fall season, and by that I mean September, literally, in the mountains, September and October, you have to start to pay attention to whether or not cold fronts are in the forecast. We'll start to see those more often because in September and October with just a single cold front, the freezing level, or in other words, the point at which the rain changes to snow, can drop three, four, five thousand feet in just a couple of hours. So we're, we expect it to snow at the top of a 14er, but sometimes with cold fronts in the fall season, it can snow all the way down to nine or 10,000 feet. So you really have to watch the weather and know if a cold front's coming.